What's up everybody, once again it's Brand Man Sean and building a creative brand can be challenging so it's nice to understand that there are four psychological marketing steps that every huge creative brand has gone through. And the legendary Mahatma Gandhi put it so eloquently when he said, first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. But let's put that into a little bit more context. First, they ignore you. But I must make clear, being ignored means that people have to know who you are. So first you get out into the market space and you might not have anybody even looking at you at all. So you have to stand out and get attention. And once you're getting attention, then people will ignore you because they won't necessarily care. That's fine. Keep going. Second, they laugh at you. That's fine because people laughing at you is a telltale sign that you're probably doing something different and you aren't understood. They might just think, hey, he's, he'll be over that soon because it's not working. That guy's foolish. This is the way it is. This is the way it's supposed to go. And if people are starting to laugh at you, at least you have people's attention because you need people's attention. You can't win people over who do not know you exist. Third, they fight you. Oh, ho, ho, this is when it gets good. So Mahatma Gandhi was fighting a civil war, but in these terms for your creative brand, you can assume that People fighting you means that you have haters. And if you have haters, that means you are provoking some sort of emotions. And the stronger your haters, the stronger your lovers. This is when you're really starting to grab a fan base. And number four, if you could just double down on those people that love you, your friends, your fans, and all of your supporters, eventually you win. And there's so many nuances to take advantage of in marketing psychology. I'll definitely do some more in-depth videos. So if you're interested, you know what to do. Subscribe.